Good evening. The volunteer firefighter who died from severe, severe burns suffered in yesterday's Nantawarra bushfire was a 38-year-old father of two who was heavily involved in his community. And tonight that community is in shock, rallying around his family and paying tribute to the man who was always ready to help. As a long-term CFS volunteer, Andrew Harrison put his life on the line for others. Yesterday, as the 38-year-old father was helping a neighbour protect their property, he suffered severe burns that would ultimately cost him his life. Today, his colleagues paid tribute to the rare gentleman dedicated to his family and local community. He was always the first to put up his hand to help out the CFS and usually had the truck ready to go before most of us even reached the station. The tight-knit community of Mount Templeton and nearby Balaclava devastated by the loss of a much-loved volunteer. Just a good, solid citizen, great father. Yeah, just break your heart. It's pretty tragic. It's too tragic for words. Uh, we're doing it fairly tough. There are some of us doing it tougher than us, and uh, yeah, it's it's a tough day. Two other firefighters were injured in yesterday's blaze, which burned through 1,600 hectares of farming land and came within metres of homes. It's believed to have been caused by farming machinery and police are preparing a report for the coroner. Uh, we don't know the full circumstances of the causation of the fire, so it's hard to say whether the farmer should have been harvesting or not. Both CFS members and local residents are now rallying around the victim's family, sending heartfelt messages of support. Kelly, you know that we all love you. And uh, <clears throat> do anything, do anything that we can to support her. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.